We're back. Uh, going to be doing our final set of the day. It's going to be Life Coach versus Surrender, Week 2, Day 1, Match 5 here, the Vulcan Deck Masters Tournament. Uh, I got to say, uh, this is the one I've been looking forward to all day. I know that's a cheesy thing to say about the last match of the day, but Life Coach coming in to replace Tides of Time, big player, the big German coming in. Uh, he's going to be going up against arguably the scariest competitor coming out of the open qualifications, Surrender, South Korean player for uh, KK, KOO All Killers. Uh, I mean, he took first in uh, the OGN Masters Season 2. That's a grueling tournament. Anytime you see OGN at the front of a tournament, you know that guy's played through some of the best that South Korea has to offer. Came out on top. I mean, first place. That's like had to be weeks of play uh, and a big pool of players there. He took second in the World Esport Championship 2014. He's sitting 2-0 right now and a scary competitor indeed. Yeah, I mean the the lineups are also very different than what uh, than what I expected from them. I didn't think Life Coach would be in those classes, but he brought Paladin, Druid, and Warrior. His Warrior's out, um, got banned by Surrender, and Surrender brought Druid and Hunter to face off against Life Coach's lineup. His Warlock was cut out by Life Coach. My reasoning behind Life Coach's ban is probably that he didn't want to face off against one of multiple possible archetypes from Warlock, since they do have a lot of archetypes at their disposal. So you don't know what you're playing up against until you see it, uh, which can be a really big problem when it comes to planning your matchups yeah casual confident play from surrender as well makes that paladin look one that i i've gotta be a little bit okay well let's see how life coach handles it i mean he could end up in a situation where the draws put him down because surrender has just been playing crazy good yeah throughout this tournament so far i mean took out show uh with no problem and who else did he hit uh i want to say he hit somebody who played in it might have been uh Orange? I know, I, wasn't he playing against uh, Cypher? I think he was playing on Cypher That's what last it was. week yeah, on Cypher, Tuesdays. Yeah. That was a crazy, that yeah. was a crazy match. The, yeah, I mean, um, Cypher just took show out there, so. Yeah, I mean, basically, Surrender took show out twice. <laughs> As a result, yeah. like, transitively, he took out By the, show. Yeah, the transitive trickle-down properties of getting wrecked. Uh, yeah, show got wrecked twice by Surrender, yeah. which is a pretty impressive feat. So Surrender um, brought Druid and Hunters, I said, and I think Life Coach's lineup against that is very, very solid um, because no matter what he had from his Warrior Druid and Pally, he was going to be probably somewhat favored against Surrender's lineup, and the Paladin maintains an advantage, a clear advantage matchup-wise against druid and hunter and the other druid from life coach could be if you know it's a coin flip against the druid from surrender and as far as the hunter goes depending on the archetype um there's a chance there's a chance that is that the druid picks it up but very often hunter has the edge there so it's basically both players have a really good matchup and a coin flip so it'll depend on whether or not uh one of them gets eliminated first and uh, life coach coming into this one i actually wonder is uh because life coach replacing tides of time um, I'm not sure if he's actually supposed to be 0-1 because uh, obviously Tides of Time would have had to forfeit that match uh, for his first match because Tides of Time didn't show up. So I don't know if that uh, problem or if that I don't have any information about that. Forfeit, I just know that yeah, we'll see if the production will get us a little bit of info yeah, on that. We'll let you know. Uh, it was supposed to, get, to be in the show last week, but Tides of Time you know, forfeited. Uh, so if Life Coach took his spot, did he take the wins and losses that go with it? That'd be a bit weird. So probably yeah. the production will keep us updated on that front and maybe cancel out the match or make it get replayed eventually uh, yeah. at some future point. Now, yeah, slide that in towards some of the later rounds, yeah. I've got to, I've got to ask you, like, you've seen some aggro paladin recently, right? Like Life yeah. Coach has been, he's a very control-heavy player, very thoughtful player he takes a sweet time paladin is a very fitting play but would he ever sh switch up his game and bring some kind of wonky aggro pally list to a tournament i you know i i gotta say i've felt pretty good about it he did not inherit the record uh a life coach so he okay. is sitting oh oh all right. Uh, don't know what they're going to do for replaying that. I assume they'll just find a way to replay that later on. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'd honestly like, I'd kind of like to see it. I don't know uh, what Surrender's running. Obviously, neither of us do. But, uh, you know, I, I like it. It is a little wonky, like you said. But, uh, it, you know, if it slides in there and it catches you unaware, you can really end up, you know, <laughs> on, your, on your rear end kind of wondering what just happened. Yeah, it's just one of those decks that takes people by surprise. And I remember Life Coach bringing a uh, Mech Warrior to a tournament at some point, which I thought was hilarious because nobody even expected it. And he, I think he won twice with it. It's kind of like that weird deck that comes out of nowhere, like Hobgoblin Paladin from Savita a while back. 
Um, Life Coach definitely has what it takes to bring those decks. I just don't know if he'll want to bring it in a tournament like this, where you know consistency is implied because you have to beat the group that you're in and then go to the playoffs. Yeah, and considering the insular nature of the South Korean scene, just kind of in general, how much information does Life Coach have about Surrender? Yeah, and it's both gonna be the both going to be spec bugged. Uh, just to finish up all the information about Life Coach taking Tides of Time's place. Uh, he did not inherit the record, so he is sitting at 0-0 right now. The matches that were missed are going to be replayed off stream. All right, so Surrender here accompanied by two lovely people also playing Hearthstone in the back. I'm not sure if that's a part of his team or anything. Um, I know he's on... He it's is such on a, a team stylish room, though, isn't it? I mean, I, I'd I mean, live there. Fancy. Those are nice chairs, too. Those are like $1,500 piece chairs. 1500 Yeah, man. Worth. Yeah. Dude, chairs get expensive, man. You look up some of those Herman Miller chairs. Crazy. Oh, man. Surrender with They're a double innervate start. A double innervate. Piloted Shredder and Wrath as the double spec bug strikes hard and heavy on our uh, on our poor spectators. So he'll get back in there real quick, and we'll see what Life Coach is rolling with. Well, Surrender. Yeah, Druid versus it's Paladin, I have to I have to say this is probably again, you know, a very favorite like not a very favorite, but a favorite matchup for life coach. And if he piles the deck well, he can definitely take it. This Paladin Shredder could be an issue, depending on how well uh Life Coach's hand lined up. Oh wow. Alright, this is a control yeah. paladin from Life Coach. This Paladin Sky Golem is pretty much unseen anywhere else. Yeah, and I mean, he's in just a, a really, really nice early hand here for him, as he's going to be able to roll into those uh, mid-round plays pretty comfortably. Piloted Shredder going to come out for Surrender there, and Knife Juggler for Life Coach as he continues to get some nice pulls going his way. Yeah, if you got to assume it's going to be an Aldor Peacekeeper, but then again, he might opt to wait for that. Life Coach, again, a, a possibly very patient player. He's got the muster for battle for the following turn, a second Aldor if he wants to play them for tempo. So I would not be surprised to see those come out. Knife Juggler is uh, pretty much, like it's a fairly safe play. Uh, the only thing that really punishes you here is a Wrath, and it happens to be the case that Surrender is holding it. Yeah, could clear that away really quickly and just leave his piloted shredder there for damage. Uh, real comfy thing to be sitting on on the board. So Life Coach taking his time, thinking about it, thinking, okay, what can I run into? What's going to be a solid play right there? And, uh, yeah. All right, so... There's the rope. <laughs> Get used to seeing that. Yeah, I mean, I think we're going to be... like I think Surrender is also a very, very slow player. They Like, I remember last time we played Surrender, we watched him play. He took his time just as much as Life Coach does in the first few matches. Yeah. Uh-oh. There's nothing... I mean, I got to say, you know, there, there are those two types of players, and there's nothing wrong with being the methodical player. Obviously, some people, uh, you know, you don't want to call it reckless, but, uh, you know, they're, they're either able to put what they're going to do together more quickly, and uh, they make confident choices, or... Uh, it's just, you know, they're not too worried about a follow-up and they'll fix any mistakes they might have made. Yeah, well, Dog is a very quick player to play. So, yeah. Like, it's cost him a bit of, uh, like, some games in the past. Recently, he's been doing a lot better on that front, though. He's been much, much more uh, patient. If Surrender trades here, I'll have to be a little surprised because you would at least pop the Shredder before you play the Drake. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, it just... Sit on, yeah, go to face. No, he shorted he it down and he's going to get the juggler. Doesn't play around the self inflicted doomsayer, and there is a Kazan Mystic in Life Coach's hand. Dead in both matchups that he's going to be running up into today. Actually, no, there's a Hunter on Surrender's side. That is right. I forgot about that. Yep. All right, Life Coach got a pretty decent pally deck. If he wins with the pally deck, he's not going to get to play it. So <laughs> it might be the wrong matchup for it to come out, but hey, that's all right. He's uh, So is this where you just escape conceit to run into the Hunter to improve your yeah, life? Yeah, there you go. That's what you <laughs> give the game. I don't think that's the case. Um, I don't think so you would ever give Surrender a game. Not the way that guy's been playing. Life coach. I mean, you know, he's yeah. a contemplative guy, and I appreciate it. I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to put it. Uh, I remember there was a tournament where I think Frodan and Azumo were, ca was, were casting, and it was the most amusing thing because they were they were both trying to find things to fill up the air, right? Yeah. Including talking about how they were trying to fill up the air, kind of like what I'm doing right now. That's one of those things that you do. You <laughs> slide it in. It's very meta. People tend not to notice, and then yeah. you come out the other side. The rope burns down. And he sends muster for battle out, and then you finally have something to talk about. Yeah. Now, my question is, like, Life Coach is not playing around Swipe because he probably doesn't get punished too much 
by it. Like, it's a big problem, but the double interface start from surrender, again, was already a big issue. It was already a super big issue for Life Coach. He's got no weapon. He really wanted to use our champion for next turn, but it's not there yet. And Surrender's gonna be able to cycle a card. Savage Roar. Nice cheap one there. He's gonna shape shift. I mean, you can see, thought about sending the Drake over, shook his head, decided against it, and uh, it goes the uh, more efficient draw route there. Takes the damage and decides he's A-OK -okay with that. And he is gonna send Drake in for one. Maybe. No, let it go again. The problem with attacking with the Drake is that you know that if he attacks your Drake with the face, uh, with the Lice Justice, he can consecrate your board off. But I would be willing to take that trade because I get the tempo back with Sludge Belcher. It really depends on how much he's willing to sacrifice his tempo, potentially. I mean, he always gets the initiative back. He's been the aggressor for the beginning of the game. It looks like it's going to keep going that way. Yep. Going to send it off. 4-3 now on the Drake, and there's the Consecrate. Surrender probably not going to mind it too much if it comes out. Life Coach also has got the options of playing Aldor Peacekeeper uh, as a tempo play on the Drake. Just to get something on the board. Maybe get a better consecration afterwards. Both of those in his hand already. He's also got his piloted Sky Golem. <clears throat> and the yeah. Kazan Mystic if he gets bored and confused. I mean, I, I don't mind. You know, I really like consecration followed by a turn 5 coin pile to Treader. You know what? I didn't really uh, look at that. But even if Surrender gets the initiative back after you let him play something on 5, your Paladin Sky Golem can contest the Druid of the Claw that might come out, or the Sludge Belcher. So in this case, maybe Life Coach will just go for the Consecration. Yeah. <clears throat> I, wonder if, I wonder if he keeps, uh, you know, tasty beverages, anything like that at the, at the screen. You know, something uh, to help during the downtime while he's thinking about stuff. You know, you gotta have something to uh, help you focus. And there he goes. Going to clear the board away. Consecrate. Got his draw. Surrender not terribly happy with that, but he's got ways around. And there goes the Sludge Belcher. Surrender needs to find a play for next turn, though, because that piloted Sky Golem will be a problem. There's piloted Shredder as well. Yeah, going to be a big card on the field. Life Coach going to do every single bit of math. Going to do some taxes, balance his checkbook, and then probably send that on out. Or he could go a different way. We never know. Let me think. What else does he have? Really, not a whole lot, actually. I mean, that seems kind of like uh, his best turn here. Yeah, I mean, unless he just wants to throw the shredder down and next time and hold the coin. He put equality coin shredder. That's a play because it takes out. I mean, it's it's not that great because your equality is pretty miserable, but yeah. it does take out the first part of the the belcher, which you can't do if you play the sky golem. So that might be one of the considerations he's having right now. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Life coach. That's the furrowed brow of a handsome man. More ladies need to watch Hearthstone, I'm saying. They don't even know. There's a handsome lineup in the Hearthstone, uh, the Hearthstone Dex coin. And there it goes. There's this guy, Golem. All right, so uh, Surrender wants to pick up something on the turn six because he's got amazing cards for later, just not quite yet. And this is no help. I mean, I guess you play it just because you can, but... Is it going to help you smoothen out the curve on turn 8? You can always use your hero power alongside one of those 7 drops. Because you're going to be playing 7 drops for quite a time to come. Yep, and just going to go to face with the Belcher and hero power. My life coach though picking up some really nice uh, initiative here. Yeah, I got Surrender the six thinking four about pinging the 6-4 so it dies to the Belcher. Ooh. And he's going to. Very hand like That's really playing into Aldor Peacekeeper. Like very, very hard. If you do that, then you risk just getting punished by Aldor. He oh does it. man, and he does it. A tough call. Surrender makes it. Life coach gonna be in a nice little position here. Obviously gonna lose a sky golem, but gonna get whatever. On the other side of it, it's got his quartermaster now. I think he's gonna be happy to Aldor this, right? I, I unless you really want to play the powder shredder, it's one or the other. The thing is, if you play the shredder, you're getting another four drop from the sky golem. Let's so it's all about whether he wants the 4-drop from the Sky Golem plus a Shredder, uh, or he wants the Aldor Peacekeeper plus the 2-health Sky Golem. Wow. That's yeah, a bit tricky. That's, uh, it is, it is, it's definitely one that, I mean, this time rope warranted, I'll say. Um, mm. Yeah, I mean, it's do you, do you look for the drops and just, just swipe it over, hope you get solid drops and... 
save that Aldor Peacekeeper for a potentially scare. I mean, he's got both of them in hand, so it doesn't feel like that big of a waste, but uh, obviously you want to look forward, and he's going to go ahead and trade it across. I understand the line of play that he took with this, you know, popping the, the Sky Golem. Again, you're not wasting your Aldors, and you're allowing yourself to get yep. uh, possibly better follow-ups, but this 3-3 three, three is, you know, not an amazing 4-drop. It's no Jeeves, but it's also not a great one uh, to find. Yeah, and I still, he's got... Plenty of things that he is going to need to uh, save those Aldor kids to uh, bring to the pool party. I mean, right there, you know, not a bad spot to be in. Yeah, but it's good for life coach that he kept that Aldor because now you can actually use it very effectively. Yeah. Alternatively, you could equality. You could equality. Yeah, I mean, he's got a lot of room to make sure that Surrender's late game just doesn't really develop in a very effective way. The quality heal bot is very safe against combo because you've got to be worried about that if you're life coach. Surrender probably hoping that he's going to keep at least three minions from these, but it's very unlikely to happen. Yeah, I mean, that 3-3 three, three is basically just cannon fodder at this point, so he's, he's got to send that somewhere and have some fun with it. And that quality, why not? When you got boom on the board. But then, you know, are you getting your best value for equality there? Mm. What we need to do here is actually get a Sneasel Shredder on this board and get a Nose Dormu to come out. There you go. There you go. Again, I'm waiting. Somebody, I want Kalinto. If anybody <laughs> knows Kalinto, any amazing deck builders, get tell them those Dormu as like a targeted play, obviously. You know what I mean? Of course, yeah. You, you check it against somebody players. specific. Yeah. Get like dog to slide it into a deck. Somebody quick. and Because, uh, man, I would just, I would watch every game. Maybe that's the next challenge, though. <laughs> and he's going to go for the equality play. If Nose Dormu comes out, you have to play him on your first turn where you can play. Whoa, what if the Shredder couldn't trade? What if the Boombot had hit the Shredder? Oof. That was risky, Life Coach. <laughs> that was risky. For, hey, he was running out of time. He had to go quick-ish. Good thing him. he healed up because that Force of Nature Savage Roar was going to be lethal. Yeah, got to end up with... Uh, this Mistress Not, of Pain is a bit annoying yeah. for Surrender. A little peculiar, because it will heal up Life Coach just a tiny bit more. Of course, Life Coach still with the double Aldor. Drop the lore, gets Lotheb, Drew to the Claw. Uh, this is a very strong turn. If you go Lotheb into Drew to the Claw to face, very often that's what you need to be able to get a like a Force of Nature Savage War to be lethal. We get two damage on the bounce there. Yep, which is really good. Allows him to clear up the board a bit. And Life Coach, again, having to find a way to kill that 5-5. Five five. Yeah, I mean, he's, got, he's still... Whoa! I mean, Peacekeeper's some nice answers. Yeah, Kel'Thuzad coming out. I like Kel'Thuzad and Paladin. Like, Life Coach, you play this deck when you play Shredders, and it's pretty obvious that he does. And this is something that Life Coach used to play a while back. I remember a few months ago, uh, he was very big on that deck. There's a Kazan Mystic. So gonna pretty much get rid of the threat there. I mean, there's still some solid stuff that Lotheb Druid pick up, Druid of the Claw pick up for Surrender. I mean, it was a nice couple of draws there. And he's oh, gonna get wow. the other Savage Roar. There's no Innervate. So now what he's gonna be thinking about is, can I just play Druid of the Claw, Charge, Savage Roar, Hero Power, and then get my combo out? Like, is that enough to win? And, uh, well, it actually is. It would be if he decided to go for that. Yeah, Surrender. I mean, the kid plays tight. We'll see what he does. Lothab is so good. With sure look a lot of face. Although it really depends. Like, you're not afraid of Tyrion because it would probably come out now. Yeah. True to the Claw is maybe going to be his pick. He decided he didn't like the one on the left. He's going to go over the right side, Drew to the Claw. That guy's slightly, he hits the gem a little bit more regularly. Wait. Doesn't eat quite so much fast food, so he's definitely going to go. All right, guy. playing it slow, trying to get up. as many minions as he can on the board for that Savage War Force of Nature. And Life Coach now needing to get a sick Aldor can't lay on hands to heal himself up. So this is going to be, uh, this is basically the most important turn of the game. That is it. That, that is straight up the most important turn of the game. Got his quartermaster, is, uh, but nowhere to go with it. Do you play KT or oh. Aldor? Because if you play KT, sure you get your stuff back, but then you're dead to combo if Lothab lives. If you play all yeah, the it's 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 a bit yeah it's a bit of a fast play against surrender just throwing a slow play out which makes you kind of want to go like okay well do I do I hold back and force him to be the one you know in the in the let's get moving seat kind of deal. 
So Man. let's look. There's seven, eight, nine, ten on the board. So Surrender is going to be too off lethal here, and KT is going to be able to buy Life Coach the time he needs. Life Coach has got to be worried, but Surrender wants to go for lethal but cannot yet. But he's got a crazy drill up law play with Savage Roar. Surrender with a little head shake there. Not happy to see those guys. Do you know that Mistress of Pain actually healed Life Coach just out of range of lethal? Usually, <laughs> this would be dead. Like, she healed him twice, right? Yeah. He would be dead. <laughs> Life Coach. That's what, the, that's what the time is for. He uses the time to make sure that he can, you know... He's like, okay, that's good. Now I can do this. You have to go all in, don't you? Maybe, yeah. maybe I'm not looking at this right. Like, how often does the Druid kill you here? Right? How frequently does he kill you? Not very frequently, I don't think. There's a Savage Roar. Number two. No. Yeah, that's the first one. Look he's got... The uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He can always... He can afford to make trades, I guess. Oh, since he's got a second Savage Roar. Killing KT here is very safe. It's a very cautious play, because he doesn't want to risk getting taunted up behind a Belcher and then lose the game on the back of that. Because if you go yeah. face, you have to kill right now. And yeah, both are being yeah. used... Ooh, is he gonna? Play? I mean, this is a big bet hedge here for. for is, he, is, he, is, he, is he going to go orange mode on us here? Is that gonna happen? Did he oh, just he's... rope on the Ancient of War? The Ancient of Lore. Oh, the he's... Ancient of Lore oh. roped. And Life Coach with the lay on hands. Oh, boy. I mean, surrender full ham there. He was. I mean, it was a big bet to hedge. Yeah, as I said, there's two ways gonna, to play that yeah. turn, but I think. The one he took was the uh, least cautious one. Again, he knew that already. Because Drew yeah. the Claw plus Savage Roar on its own is 9 damage, right? You add up your Drew the Claw plus your hero power. Tyrion. And a Sludge Belcher, Acolyte of Pain. So, Life Coach. Yeah, yeah Surrender yeah, not sticking around. He's got no more burst. The Paladin stabilized. This Mistress of Pain doing exactly what she needed to. And you know what? That Mistress of Pain wasn't even necessary here because Surrender um, roped. Like, <laughs> maybe maybe he didn't need the heal. It didn't end up mattering, yeah. I think, uh, I think if he had lethal, he would have gone for it very fast. Whereas now he has to think about his following turn. Do I want to go all in now and risk losing? Or do I want to maybe try uh, to kill KT and then remove the Mistress of Pain, yada, yada? So yeah. overall, I mean, he did what he think was best, but... Even without the rope, because of lay on hands, I think this was a yeah, game. The lay that, on hands closed the book on that one for sure. It, it, you yeah, can, it's like okay, he kind of sat there for a half a second. He was like, okay, lay on hands, two, four, five. Okay, done. Yeah, yeah. I've got to hope that this is gonna work out. So life coach's paladin, which he brought probably to beat the hunter for surrender if he expected one. Uh, life coach has a druid on the back end, so he's gonna have to beat a druid and a hunter. So there's a coin flip there in the druid mirror match. And as far as Hunters versus Druids go, very often the Hunter has a slight edge, at the very least. Um, the deck you probably want to face most, and that's going to sound very weird, is Face Hunter. I'd rather face Face Hunter probably than mid-range or hybrid. Like, hybrid is just the worst. So, Surrender going to be sitting on... It's oh. the murder match, and who has the wild growth? Got Innervate sitting there. He's going to hold on to Shade. And uh, nobody. Wait. Okay, there we go. Oh, Life, Life Coach, Coach picked it up. Gonna pull it. <laughs> nobody for half a second, and then it was Life Coach. So, Surrender. So, Surrender's got two choices that really appeal to him here, possibly. One of which is, I just wait and go full crazy with Sylvanas, or I just Innervate Shade now and play it, like, or coin her out turn two. It's like three choices, really. Like, yeah, and you know the shade, you gotta love it. But it just ha it hasn't felt. It feels like people are really getting used to seeing the shade come out, and you know the answers are starting to get there. Yeah. Where oh, the life shades. coach blank is on Mystic targeting the hunter from surrender. Very very clever. The next match might be a little less lopsided. If surrender makes it through this one, right? I mean, life course, coach, yeah. the f the first dent in the armor on surrender, who has just really rolled through this very very easily. Against some talented players, poor show. <laughs> Resquiat and Pache show. Hmm. You will be missed. So, although he does not. Wow. All right. So, surrender here, not getting the shade out as soon as he can, which means he's planning to get some kind of Sylvanas craziness going on very soon. 
Life Coach is curving pretty well. He's got a 5 drop. He's got a 5 drop for the turn 6. Or the Kazan Mystic Hero Power. Lots Keeper. of things here. Sylvanas is guaranteed to get whatever comes out of the Shredder if he innervates her out now. And the Surrender is just going crazy on Sylvanas. Yes. Wow. <laughs> That's the sort of thing you like to see. No just, you know, that, that turn, turn 4 Sylvanas. Turn 3, yeah. Well, what? probably feels a bit weird about this. Because like, yeah. he can't develop this board anymore if he really... Like, Sylvanas yeah, is too you're much kinda of like, okay, yeah. I, yeah. I have to... I can't sit on 5 face damage. He's got Sludge Belcher, so, uh, you know, he can buy a little bit of time there. Yeah. Are there any Farce here in Life Coach's deck, though? Targeting Hunter probably by... I mean, it's a pretty obvious deck against aggressive decks because very often, Earthling Farseer just doesn't see play anymore in Druid. So Life Coach, again, rightly going to take his time on this one. Just like everyone, and uh, that's why he makes the, the correct plays every time, 100% of the time. So he's not going to be trading to Sylvanas based Is on the... Druid or Sludge Belcher? Because honestly, there's like... He could just trade it away, get rid of Sylvanas now, and go for Earthling Farce here to himself. Um, but that gives the, bin the minion that comes out of the Shredder to his opponent, which obviously you don't want to do. Could you just pass here? Is that ever a play to just pass straight up? I would, the, With that in the hand, I wouldn't think so. Yeah, Sludge Belts are going to come out. Like, I mean, you'd want to throw the taunt on the board just to avoid free five to the face, uh, you know, if for no other reason. Maybe force that trade and see... Uh, yeah, Belcher's annoying here. I mean, it could yeah. give you the slime if you're playing as Surrender, so... The thing is, do you really want to keep with the Grove, the slime, to, to remove it? Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah, again, it's it, it puts you in a weird later later value proposition issue, uh, but uh, right now, I, Surrender's starting to come into his own for his hand here as he pulls the Sludge Belcher. He's got his keeper sitting around, BGH ready for any, uh, anything later on that might be an issue. He's going to drop keeper, it looks like. Oh, he seems like he's going to go for the... Wait, is he going to ping his own Sylvanas? Is that what I saw? Yes, he does. Wow. Oh. So he will get the Shredder guaranteed because the slime spawns afterwards. Life Coach did not expect this move. Surrender. No, I mean, sir. Crazy. And now it's just an ineffectual looking little 1-2 sitting there. Not nearly as annoying as that Sludge Belcher. Okay, Life Coach's deck is absolutely insane. There's a Harrison Jones there as well yeah. to deal with mid-range Hunter. So he's prepared against face and mid-range with that Kazan Mystic, Earthling Farseer, and Harrison Jones. So I don't think Life Coach would mind if the game went on one more. Match can yeah. take its time. Life Coach is fine with it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a, it's he's trying to build around a lot of possibilities here. He's, I mean, he's got a pretty decent range for everything. We saw that last... Uh, Last play, he was basically ready for the Hunter. He still came away with the win. Um, I mean, you know, good deck building here by Life Coach so far. The Spectator Bugs, uh, ever-present and beautiful. Yeah, thank you, Spectator Mode. It's uh, it's super yeah. fun. They're hilarious bugs. I mean, just cards sticking on the board. It's, yeah, it was fine last batch. Let's, let's go yeah. figure out like what Blizzard changed about Shuge 1, that everything just starts sticking around yeah. now. It's the Druid cards, man. That's what uh, it's those. Anytime the card's got to fly up to the front, it gets real gets yeah. real upset about that. It doesn't like it. Surrender taking his time now. If he traded the Shredder here, he gives zero respect to Doomslayer. Because like, you don't play the 3-5 the into this if you're going to get a Doomsayer. So you have to make that mi your mind up about the trade before the turn ends. It's a minor thing, really, and it's almost irrelevant. Uh, his, his Shredder positioning, though, is pretty good. So. so Azure Drake pull for Life Coach. And he has lost the Gunners, so he's in serious mode now. He's got the Superman swirl coming down. Hair getting messy. It's a stressful. He looks stressed out, man. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of watching Life Coach. I'm like, why does this guy play Hearthstone? He seems deeply stressed. I should stressed. go back to poker. Okay, he picks yeah. up a Wrath. Useful with the Drew Drake, or you could innervate it right now, depending on how you feel. But I think passing is likely going to be his play, and it's exactly that. So Surrender gets the initiative again. He's got his Horse of Nature Savage already set up. So I think it's just a matter of you know, cleaning the board a little bit here with the Savage Roar. Rat pull for surrender. Yeah, this is uh, perfect for surrender. Big boom right there, and gets himself an owl. Yeah. Not happy about that one. Yeah. Not happy <laughs> at all. 
Uh, well, do you wrath and take that phase damage, or do you just go phase? It's just so excruciating. Yeah, go phase and let the Belcher deal with it. Well, I think no, Belcher's gonna go phase, I think. It's either you wrath That's and That's what take I was saying, yeah. The, let the Belcher deal with it next time around. Alright, so it turns out, goodbye 5-5 five, five, life coach. We'll need to pick up a swipe. Well, at least he does want to, it's not mandatory. And Surrender, like, if this board gets dealt with, he's got very few follow-ups. Alright, Spectator Bug again. Yeah, Sludge Belcher Pool. Those secret teachings are uh, a non-issue. Obviously, we'll hop back out when the turn switches back around. But uh, what? So, uh, yeah, Sludge Belcher sitting there for life coach. You know, he's got... Uh, Plenty of plays here. I mean, obviously Harrison Jones, uh, not the most effective guy in the world. Azure Drake going to come out and whoa, ra double wrath is a great draw. I mean, do you, you almost want to innervate it out? And it looks like he will. You can, I could get Belcher out here. I think it's also a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's Belcher. Yeah, play. Belcher v Belcher. Buys you time to uh, you know, let you sit back and relax on that double wrath in case anything scarier comes out. Azure Drake. Into the pile for surrender. Do you ever force of nature to clean up this board? Because you could get rid of the Drake, but I mean, it's pretty. W you might as well just play your own Drake, I guess. Yeah. Get a. Card. You have to be worried about the other Drake, though. You know how dangerous a Drake is, and when a Druid guy has a swipe, it's pretty yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah, that uh, that could turn real sour real quick. As it is, uh, and he does use the force of nature the force to of clean nature. up the board. Wow. All right, so he is afraid of that Drake. Can't fault him for that. I mean, I am afraid of that Drake. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a creepy-looking guy. But then he, yeah, I mean, he's got the he's got the owl around for uh, you know throw face a two damage. to face. Yeah, there's a big game hunter. Well, I feel he's getting a good deal on his cycle here if he wants it. Might even find a Drake. Just uh, kill another minion and cycle again. It's kind of unfortunate for Life Coach to have Harrison Jones and Kazan Mystic in this matchup. Like, it's going to help him a lot. If he doesn't win this one against the Hunter, it's going to be great. But for now, those two cards, not doing a lot of work. Yeah, they're just kind of sitting around. They're not particularly scary. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Surrender, God, it's, just, it's not even a big board, but it's just a hard one to get around with the cards Life Coach is sitting on, uh, you know, and still get good value out of them. Get a swipe. Get us what I think Azure Drake is probably one of the things he's looking for the most here. Oh, he, yeah, really okay, touch. come on. Come on, tell me this guy is not teched out against Hunter. Come <laughs> on. I, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if he tried to not play it. Just not to show Yeah, hold on to it. So, yeah, you yeah. just like, don't show your hands yet. Yeah, let's surrender slow play next time around. And you'll yeah. Just, uh... Are there any farce here? Okay, I could show that, but I can't show the healing touch. That is too much. Yeah. This, this feels like Life Coach is starting to... I wonder how much he'll just meta as much as he can. Short of the claw grab for surrender. So options there. He's got his Drake as well. If he wants to cycle a little bit, get uh, get some more friends into the into the party. Yeah, I don't like shade shade and Druid of the claw or shade and Azure Drake. Probably Azure Drake even. Um, those are great plays. They curve out really nicely. Drew of the Claw is best kept for the turn where you Savage Roar at this point, since you've already used up one of them. Uh, if you're going to go for like an aggressive play, then you play Drew of the Claw later. If you're going to play for the long game, then playing it now is fine. Dead even on life right now as Surrender. He's got himself a little bit of a time buy with the Belcher. Now he's thinking about dropping that Drew of the Claw, but he can't quite decide. And I'm kind of with you on the Drake Shade there, but... Looks like he's gonna go tank and then drop the shade. So, gonna be tough to get anything over to face for Life Coach. Buy Surrender a little bit more time. Two damage added on there, so Life Coach down to 19. Wrath out. And gonna just ping it for the draw. Gets Keeper of the Grove. Do you ever do anything with this keeper? I mean, it's a good, it's a good way to kill the four or five if you're worried about it. Then you probably can get Harrison Jones out now if you'd like. 
It's a yeah, I mean, pretty it's... mediocre play, but what else are you going to use that Innervate on at this point? It's good for early game tempo gains, but for now, not so much. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's digging into the game pretty deep now, and Drake, the look, piloted Shredder. So Drake Shredder, and he'll get... Boom. Dr. Boom. Did Life Coach spin. with the BGH. My question is, will Life Coach just try to get out of the game before he shows the healing touch? Because at this point, he's got to know that he's mostly beat. Um, yeah. Like, like if, if Life Coach has Force of Nature, Savage War, Surrender, if he doesn't kill Harrison Jones, is dead. Yeah, there's not a board there. And since you're looking at a best of three here, it's it's not like you can just say, okay... Like, I mean, it's a, it's the sort of situation where you're looking at one more game after this. You don't want him to be able to play around you. You want to have yeah. some surprises left in the deck so that you'll be able to pick him off. Surrender um, pinning his opponent on the Force of Nature Savage War. Like, that kill here indicated that he thought Life Coach might have the combo. And uh, Harrison Jones would have been the lethal that he needed. So by killing it, he denied it. And now we're going to have to see what Life Coach opts for. But honestly, I don't, yeah. I don't see this. Yeah, you just, I mean, you just drop the keeper and send it back over, you know, hero power and just kind of wait it out. It's, you know, it's like, it's a weird thing to think, okay, I just kind of have to die rather than show the healing touch because his hand's not in any spot that indicates that showing him that healing touch is sitting in the hand is going to be of any benefit later on. So trade keepers. Well, he yeah, might ha he might go for the healing touch. I mean, if he's trying to win this game, then sure. Yeah, I mean, it's I obviously he's the only one that knows what's sitting in the deck, but he's yeah. He's got to go all in on the tempo yeah. plays, basically. Like BGH for tempo is gonna suck when he sees the Doctor Boom next turn, but yeah, hero power up. He's playing around that healing. And surrender touch, is very very happy about that. He's like, what? Yeah, now Boom can come out, and yeah. uh, there's no just problem. no answer. Innervate there. As Dr. Boom walks in a bar. For a draw. <laughs> you know that joke, right? No, actually. You don't? All right, Tell Dr. Boom walks in a bar. He asks, where's the counter? There's none. <laughs> it's that a is boring a, joke. That's one of, yeah, it's one of my favorite. That's like a one-size-fits-all joke. for. Yeah, you can put it anywhere. like whenever what a, Whatever flavor <laughs> of the month is. Yeah. <laughs> you can put it in any specific game. Yeah. Doesn't matter. <laughs> You're tired of facing Zerg. It works out. So life coach here probably going to concede, um, not showing the healing touch. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I would he, I would love if he did that. If he shows the healing touch, I'm gonna be very sad. He's played around it so hard. I, no, oh. life coach, what are you doing? No, put it back down. <laughs> down, no, <laughs> life coach. Why? Oh, oh I'm good. Why would you? Oh, what's he gonna even? What does he have left? And in the surrender deck? actually with a look of realization on his face, like, "Hey, there's a healing touch in that deck." He pulls oh, a swipe. I mean, he's got just great information going to the next game. What could Life Coach even pull here? You know, I think Life Coach, like, you, you know that play that we saw, <laughs> <laughs> the assassin. <laughs> <laughs> what else could it have been? <laughs> this is crazy. Surrender. I don't even know. So they're like, yeah, really? There's like one the card in this game. panda right now. <laughs> it's not like Life Coach can do anything with it. So no, I was just going to say, um, Life Coach pulling up the excess mana for five. <laughs> this is going to be a great spell right here. Um, so... <laughs> Life coach probably is somewhat tilted. You know that Sylvanas play where the the the, um, the shredder got stolen earlier. Yeah. It's a play that you very often see. Like I, I didn't catch it right away, which is a bit a bit weird. Um, but it's a play that's very common on ladder when you play against a druid. You think about, you know, even a, a priest will do that. They will holy smite their own Sylvanas, anything to get your own Sylvanas to pop and get a benefit out of it. And with the order death rattles operate, um, life coach. Ought to have known what happened, but somehow that slipped his mind, right? Uh, and he must be beating himself over the head with that. Wow, one health off now, and uh, man, I love the low theb just wasting the excess mana. He's gonna get swipe, and I mean, it's just not a lot to do with it. And it'll pull zombie chow as again, a very it. tech deck against Hunter. So we're going to be moving on to the last match, which is going to be Surrender's Hunter versus Life Coach's Druid, but Surrender now with the knowledge that there is a healing touch in that deck. Crucially, he's playing with that knowledge. I mean, that's... Uh, 
we have does, no does idea. Does it change anything though? Like, yeah, I mean, even if you know it's there, do you can well, you I play mean, around it? it, it? It means you don't necessarily play big into it because you know he could just be sitting on eight. So it's like you're gonna wait until lethal's like confirmed. You know, you, it, it could it's it's got to change play style a little bit. Yeah. He knows basically every heel that's sitting in the deck. He knows um, he's got the three, he's got the eight. So yeah, I mean, it's got to change the way you play at least a little yeah. bit. You're not we'll going all in as early. Yeah. Definitely. That's uh, that's definitely true. So I can't wait to see whether or not Life Coach's Druid is going to be able to take it because that Kazan Mystic, I mean, he all, like Surrender has all the knowledge. He's, he knows there's a Kazan Mystic. He knows there's an Earthling Farseer. He's seen the Healing Touch. Um, he's aware of what he's going to be facing up against. And knowing that, he's probably not very happy about having to go uh, with the Hunter in this matchup. Yeah. I mean, that's obviously that's one where you'd, where you'd mulligan and just be like, reban. Let's yeah. redo the bands. I want to. <laughs> I don't want to go in there, mommy. Stop bullying me, please, life coach. Yeah. And life coach, I mean, life coach kind of teched both of them to uh, take care of that hunter. So I mean, the fact that he's pulled himself to a one-one, I, it's smart play from life coach there. He knows even if he gives the one up, he's he's got two decks that are teched against that hunter. So he either yep. takes the win and goes, you know, gets gets things done against the hunter, or. Uh, He's, What's you know, interesting he's in good is shape. The second deck he decided to bring to Target Hunter was Druid, which, you know, even when you tech it, sometimes will take games by virtue of being a very good all around deck. So, I mean, playing Earthling Farce here is not amazing, uh, but it's going to improve your de your matchups against Zoo as well. Like, it's not stellar, mind you, but playing Earthling Farce here and the Healing Touch can sometimes make those matchups easier. Kazan yeah. Mystic is the only huge tech. The rest is um, something you do put in when you're facing off against aggro decks. Yeah, I mean the only really rough part there for Life Coach is that he did give away that that uh, the healing touch again. It's just going to change the way Surrender plays a little bit. So he's basically he wants Surrender to spend early, and that's not necessarily going to happen now. So uh, Surrender may hunker down for the long game if his deck's built for it. I mean, obviously he's not going to be able to go back and rebuild a deck now. So we'll see uh, what he's got. Hunter's Mark, Freezing Trap, Knife Juggler. So it's a mid-range hunter probably or a hybrid life coach here with the zombie chow. Very important card against the hunter deck. And Harrison Jones to deal with the eel horn bow. He may not keep Harrison Jones, but he's definitely keeping the first two on the far right. Yeah. And yeah, you can leave that big game hunter for later and uh, wait till you see what's uh, what's coming out there. But uh, yeah, life coach, I mean, it's 1-1 right now. Surrender took a game back. He's going to get unleashed the hounds there as he trades in. Uh, Wrath will wait for everything. Wrath, Innervate, and uh, Ancient Allure. Yeah, Eagle pretty good card here. For Surrender. Whoa, turn to Drake. Yeah. Zombie Chow out for Life Coach. Do you so play the front. Drake as a turn two play? I mean, this is a bit uh, awkward for yeah, Surrender. I mean, kind of, yeah, it's, it's weird. I mean, I think if you're Life Coach, you want to get to the stuff that you brought to deal with this Hunter. So, I mean, you might do. And a second Drake, so uh, it's either that or, you know, hero power, face, sit on it. The, it's, a, it's a play that's only weak to really, like, uh, on Hunter's Mark play, no matter what happens. Um, and it happens to be the case that Surrender has the bow and the Hunter's Mark to deal with the Drake if it gets coined out. But then Life Coach still maintains the initiative. Of course, right yeah. now he doesn't have a turn three, um, but that Wrath will be there to clean up whatever comes out. Yeah, I mean, he'll still get the card draw, and, and it'll still, I mean, it'll, it'll work him towards the deeper deck without necessarily you know i mean like hunter's mark very scary against possibly some of his later game stuff uh you know whereas if you get it spent on a on a drake there early on you don't have to worry yeah. about it you get your harrison jones out clean and maybe you get some uh, some free work done later on in the game i'm curious though if life coach is playing heal bots because i find it odd that he would be playing the uh healing touch and no heal bot the only explanation for doing this to me is that he has too many five drops yeah, he that's probably have, the yeah. best explanation for this. Yeah, because he's got Harrison. Yeah, I mean, he, he must have shifted it around uh, and put in the healing touch as sort of the... Okay, the skill to Zod or, is actually really blowing my mind because I didn't see that earlier. We saw it in Paladin, but in Druid, that is a little less common. Yeah, I, he's put together an interesting... I mean, you can see where he started to chop things out to start sliding these uh, sort of more unorthodox oh, picks in. Um, and Surrender, I mean, Surrender didn't yeah. get to see it. So he didn't get perfect information. I mean, we went pretty deep into that deck, so Surrender had to be feeling fairly confident about knowing what was hanging out. But uh, now there's a Kel'Thuzad at the party. Animal Companion going to be the drop. And what are we going to get? Huffer. Wow. Life Coach feeling very good. If it had been Misha, she was dead to Wrath. 
Oh, and he picks up the second innervate. Surrender, you're gonna have to deal with this again. That's what you get Life for getting a huffer. With deal with this. There you deal go. With, yeah. <laughs> get Surrender. a huffer, get another one. Yeah. Hunter's Mark might come out. Although, at this point, I think it's just gonna be an Unleashed turn later. Um, yeah, it's... Like I said, it's, it's mark, one of those, yeah. yeah, you gotta really think about that Hunter's Mark. Like, okay, there's some possible big hitters in there that I don't necessarily want to deal with later. So do I deal with the four now, the old-fashioned way? Thinking about juggler, thinking about everything, really. I like. There's a lot of lines of play here. the yeah. The thing that he's considering is by far um, the hunter's mark, unleash the hounds juggler play that could come up. So as a result, you kind of want to play on the curve or use your bow on the face just to make sure that you get better, like a bigger hound count for the hunter's mark. Yep. Gonna pilot a shredder right. there and just Rad. sit on it for a bit. Uh, Wrath for Cycle plus Hero Power into Zombie Chow or Trade and try to kill whatever comes out with the Zombie Chow and your Hero Power. It pulls a Druid for next turn, possibly. Wrath. Do you ever want to take four here? Like the Cycle? Like how important is your card draw here? I think it is quite important, but... Yeah, I think you're still waiting on a couple of things. And, wow. Uh, yeah. Life Coach, great outcome. Master Swordsmith here, not going to do anything. Yeah. That Zombie Chow. I mean, that would take so long to be worthwhile, and it's just nothing doing. So, Life Coach, uh, Hero Power's up, and thinking about where exactly to go. There you go. I, just I thought it was going to rope that one. <laughs> All right, hey man. So it's Gotta just, uh... It. Houndmaster, not exactly super relevant. And the Eagle Hornbow comes out, so... This is going to allow Surrender. It's going to force Surrender to play really heavily into face damage from that Drake here. Which is not what he wants to do, unfortunately. In that, you know, Drill the Claw again. He keeps the Hunter's Mark for the right time. Harrison Jones on time for Life Coach. Getting one charge off that bow. Surrender is going to be behind again by one step. Oh. Laughing. You know, he's laughing it off. Yeah, but the, the, the like, oh. smile is not quite a smile. <laughs> no, it's, it's shifting to a grimace very, very slowly. Got his other oh hunter's mark. Oh my god, the double hunter's mark play. No taunts on inside, though. Not so. bad, yeah. I mean, it's it's basically best value you can get right there, holding on to that as long as you can. I mean, obviously, in a different situation, there, there are better ways for that to go to face. All right, so that's Drake, kind of... And there you go. Up. All right. Expected value was met. Was met indeed. Yeah. So the question is, how do you lose as life coach past this point? Whew. Um, got to be rough, right? I mean, yeah, I don't even I mean, Surrender just, I mean, nothing in hand unless he, he pulls some crazy <laughs> stuff out of the bag. And there's a sludge belcher just to be obnoxious. Uh, uh, that's not in. a bad outcome. That's a great card for him to pick up here. Gonna do five and just get that cleared away. Yeah, buff up that hound and start, you know, hounding. Yeah. Like Go surrender. Full. You know what? That 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 huffer earlier, and life coach's revenge with the second innervate. Those are crazy. <laughs> like that was just the cr the craziest moment. Gonna get the juggle to face and then follow it up with the face damage. So I mean, yeah. nice uh, nice stuff there for surrender. No uh, no bits wasted. And there's an ancient oh. war. This is why he's playing Healing Touch instead of Heal Bot. He's got versatility in it where he can heal minions. And Surrender is going to have to find an Iron Beak Owl. You've got to be kidding me. There There's you no go. Sir. There is no way in a thousand years this just happened. Surrender is the RNG touched today and just pulls 10 health taunt. <laughs> Life coach crushed. I, those <laughs> words that just came out of his mouth were definitely not family friendly. I guarantee it. But you know what? It's not even that bad because he's got the healing touch. He's got the drill of the claw. He can still stay stay in. He's got the ancient of lore to heal up again. <laughs> this it's, is unbelievable. Oh, I mean, you got to tilt on that turn, man. That's just bad luck. <laughs> it's bad news bears that owl. And man, okay, so healing touch is your <laughs> start and drew it to the claw. I mean, you I don't, don't have. Even, I don't even to want to watch this, man. Like I am <laughs> out. This game has been so swingy both ways. I don't yeah. even know what's going on anymore. Where shall I strike? So is, is that, is that his first owl? 
Yeah, that's the first. Oh, there's probably there's another one in there. So well, there's another one hanging out. So, I mean, I mean, you can clear okay, away. the I, I have a question. Do you wrath the four three? That way, he has to find quick shot or kill command off the top. Yeah, I mean, you gotta you gotta just get as much off that board as you can. I mean, because the druid, it's just not gonna stand up to it. And you you want to be you, ready. It's got do the you weapon, healing touch yourself and then wrath ancient of lore next turn? Yeah, I mean, healing touch is yeah, just in case he top decks something crazy again. You know, you, Let, you, let's see. Let's see if it would have been crazy. Animal companion is crazy. What's he got? What? Animal companion. <laughs> <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. No. <laughs> That's the right play. What's he going to get? There's out of only it? one bad one, and it's Misha. And it's not even that bad. Yeah, Misha's not even that bad here because, you know, that shuts life coach down. He's got nowhere to go. You know, can't do any efficient clears. And he's going to get for. Got to be in the face with the juggler setting up. Is that Back lethal? That's lethal. Yeah. <laughs> Pack it up, pack it in. You know what? I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Look at him! <laughs> life coach just I gonna. Know. What know, is this my is so life coach? Unprofessional. Right this is so unprofessional from us, but. Oh, life coaches. <laughs> I'm dying for him right now. That was just the worst possible RNG. I mean, life coach must have just been carrying some bad karma from a previous life or something, because surrender drew into nirvana right there and rolled life coach down against all odds what a what a game three i mean life coach's druid deck was so teched out against yeah. hunter i figured there's no Rick way Ross. he's gonna lose this <laughs> and he's got the innervate drake right um yeah. and he had the second innervate drake to punish that animal oh, companion great. rng yeah. and then surrender just out just going crazy with the RNG. Was just I mean, insane. again, there was no bad animal companion there for Surrender, not in that situation, but there was a perfect animal companion, and he came out sniffing for truffles and found a big one. So there's like looking for trouble, sniffing for truffles. You know, that sounds like a that sounds like a perfect Hearthstone movie name. You know that? Yeah. I would watch. Truffles. I'd like I'd like I'd watch that all day. Oh, God. All right. Well, guys, that's the last match of the day. What a crazy match that was between these two players. Surrender is going to be going 3-0 in the event so far. Flawless victory at this point for his score, which means I guess he's going to be guaranteed to go into the playoffs. Um, Life Coach is going to have to... I mean, he's 0-2, I think, right now, unless I'm mistaken. one No, no. He's playing the other one off stream. Uh, okay, I don't think so it's he's not... Yet. So right. he's just 0-1 because uh, he did not inherit right, Ty's, Ty's, uh, score. Uh, Ty's record. So... Uh, life coach 01 right now. I mean, he can play back into it, but uh, best case 3 1, which is a good outcome for him. But I mean, he's going to have to work right now. Surrender just, oh man, drawing it out. I life coach really close to, to a win there for a good chunk of the game, and surrender just runner, runner, destructive draws. Yeah, it was really painful to watch. But again, I, I had a lot of fun watching it because I'm not on the receiving end of the RNG. Yeah, no, I Life been Coach crying. didn't seem to enjoy it quite as much as uh, I did. Oh, uh, my um, heart, it hurts, man. My heart hurts for Life Coach, the big German, just uh, mm, running it. I'll never, I'll never forget these series. This is It's kind of like Kibler's Wild Growth into Wild Growth into Innervate. <laughs> <Innervate. laughs> That's the same we kind had, of stuff. The rope out on Orange, I mean, I yeah. got to say, it's been two fantastic days of Hearthstone. I agree with I'm that. I'd be sad that I'm not going to be around for the rest of them, but just some of the best games uh, I've seen in a bit here. Just really, really great stuff. And yeah. of course, brought to us by Vulcan. Look at that segue. Head over to Vulcan.com. Like a boss. Slash Hearthstone. And uh, check out the recently added Hearthstone Fantasy Esports section. You can head over to Squarespace.com slash Deckmasters. Uh, they've been helping bring this tournament to life. And uh, if you're in need of a website, it's a great place to go, even if you don't know what you're doing. Get a really professional website, up and running, quick, fast, and True. for not too much money. Not too much money. That's the kind of the okay, a big selling point. Looks professional, yep. not too expensive. So yep. uh, we'll be back tomorrow, guys. We've got two more days this week. It's not by far over. We've got an entire month of leagues. One week's behind us. We've got, you know... Two weeks and some ahead of us. Tomorrow I'll be casting with Frodan. If everything goes well, Wombat, you will be leaving us uh, for the time being, as far as I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully, hey, if they need a fill-in, I'll be back uh, with Bells on for sure, because these games have just been just been great. Oh, my God. I want to see yeah. more. 
Well, it was good casting with you. And as far as the viewers go, uh, thanks for watching. We'll be back tomorrow. So until then, have a nice one.